Hello guys, welcome back to my channel VFX Expert. So guys, in this today's class, we are going to see 3D equalizer and new lens distortion workflow using STMap. So now we are inside 3D equalizer and I have tracked about this sort inside 3D equalizer. So you can see this have a sort here. So simply just I have tracked this sort inside 3D equalizer and this have a camera solve. And also just I have undistorted this sort inside 3D equalizer. So you can see this distortion and this sort inside 3D equalizer. So you can see this distortion and undistort. So now just I am going to export this lens distortion value and also 3D equalizer camera track for new. So before exporting anything, first you have to set this first frame according to your sequence starting frame. So this is our sequence starting frame which is number 0. So same number just I have typed it here. So now after this, just we have to click on 3D4, then file then export so first we will export lens distortion so just i am going to use this export nuke ld 3d e4 lens distortion node so you simply click and just select your folder so this is our main folder so just simply select this new folder and downside just give a file name so maybe underscore distortion Then underscore v01 so this is our file name so now just we have to click on ok now press ok so now just type exported over this lens distortion value using this ld 3d4 node here or script here and now after this we have to also export this 3d equalizer camera track for new so for this again just we have to click on the 3d4 then export project then select this nuke and again just select your folder so now we are inside same folder so new export now we have to click on ok so this file just type exported for suppose if you want to do composting inside new so all things just we will explain inside new now just we have to come inside new and just we have to do remaining work inside new so now we are inside new so first we have to import our main footage so again just select this read node and just select your footage view this one here so this is your main sort here now after this just we have to correct this sort pixel aspect ratio so for this just simply double click then format just we have to click on this edit then give a name so original sort then pixel aspect ratio 1.5 now just we have to click on ok so now here just type corrected this pixel aspect ratio for this sort and just select this global to input now click on the starting frame here now press s as for project setting so same corrected frame size just we have to define in project setting and define this property one so just simply play and check so this is a sort here then after this just we have to import a distortion node or a distortion value which just i have exported from 3d equalizer so so for this just we have to click on this file then insert comp node and just select your file so inside this new folder this is your file this one distortion we just type exported from 3d equalizer now we have to click on open so now if you will connect after this footage so you will get this undistorted footage so you can see so this is your main footage and this is your undistorted footage so one more important things before importing this distortion node inside 3d equalizer so here i am using this ldpk kit so before importing your this ld 3d node inside nuke first you have to install ldpk kit for nuke so this plugin just you can download from 3d equalizer.com then you have to install inside nuke plugins folder then only just you can import inside nuke so now suppose if you want to check inside nuke then we have to click on this others then go to all plugin then update now press tab and find maybe ld so you can see this ld 3d4 so all these actually node just i am getting because just i have installed ldpk kit for new okay then only you will get all these ld node inside new okay so now after this what we have to do so now just we have to generate ht map 
from ld 3d in node so for this what we have to do simply just we have to double click then go to this output mode so inside this image just we have to select this ht map so now i am getting this ht map undistorted so remember this one because just we have to generate two ht map first for undistort second for distort because after composting we have to reapply our distortion on our final composting so two ht map we have to export from new so first just i am going to export this ht map which is undistort then use right node so press tab and it take a right node connect after this then double click then click on this file and just select your folder where you want to save this ht map so here i have created this folder which is undistort ht map select this folder then downside just give a name then dot for hashtag then dot exr format then we have to click on save then inside this exr in this color space just we have to click on this raw data and this data type we have to select the 32 bit float now we have to click on this render and here I have selected this input so this will automatically take this frame range from this input here now we have to click on ok so remember this one this is actually undistorted because here just I have selected this inside this LD3D node undistorted so this is actually undistorted HTML ok so again just we have to click on the right node and just click on render and just ok So now here first file just I have generated now just we have to also create a HTML for reapply our distortion so we have to also generate a HTML for distortion so again just simply just we can change two things or if you want you can just simply copy and paste so just select control C and control V and just paste it here so again just connect with this footage now just select this one press 1 so just two things just we have to change first in this LD3D node again direction just we have to select the distort and this right node from this right node just we have to select folder we are want to save this HTML file so again so this is actually second folder with whichever the distort HTML then give a name then dot then for his then dot exr now we have to again click on save and remaining raw data just we have to check and data type we have to select the 32 bit float now again just double click and again just render this HTML file. So now here both HTML just I have exported from our nuke. Now just we have to import inside nuke. So again press R. So this will actually distort for reapply our distortion. Now again press R and this will actually HTML for undistort. So now let's copy this original footage. So Control C and Control V. Now how we can use these two HTML? So first I am going to use this undistort. So this is our main footage. So now suppose if you want to undistort this footage, then press Tab and it take a HTML node. So this source input just we have to connect with your footage, and this HTML just we have to connect these two HTMAPs so because first just I am going to undistort this footage so I am going to use this undistort so just simply we have to connect with this HTML so now nothing I am getting here then double click on this HTMAP then go to this UV channels and just we have to select this RGB so now we are getting this undistort footage so they were main footage and this are actually undistort footage so you can see so now after this suppose if you want to export this undistorted footage for Maya so guys in this video just I am going to skip this portion how you can generate UD plate for Maya because for this I will create a separate video in that video I will explain everything how you can export camera track for Maya then how to create geometry then how to render then how to finally reapply your distortion inside Nuke so in this video direct just I am going to start composting inside Nuke and how to reapply over this distortion inside new so now after this just i am going to do some composting inside nuke and we will see how to reapply our distortion on our final composting 
So for this, just I am going to import our tracking data, which just I have exported from 3D Equalizer. So again, just click on this file and insert comp node and just select your file. So this is actually new export file, which just I have exported from 3D Equalizer and just open this one. So just I am getting this 3D tracking data inside new and just copy this. Then select this one, Control C, copy, and just paste it here. And just move this one here. So this is actually undistorted footage. And just connect with this BG. So this is just only for reference. So just easily, just we can see. Suppose if you are creating maybe any geometry inside uh, Nuke. So just I am going to create a queue for this pillar here. So again, press Tab. So press F, so you are getting, so select this one and press 1, now press F, so you can see all these actually points here which just I have exported from 3D equalizer, so usually just we can create maybe one pillar, so this is actually a reference point here, so just simply just we can take a cube, geometric cube and just we can connect, so you can see this one here, then after this just we can scale. Now if you press tab, so you can see this one here and disable these locators, press D and simply just you can double click here if you want. So better just simply what we can do for this, so just take a checkerboard and input this one here, then unplug this one, take a merge node, so usually just we can understand, so this will be B and this will be A, now press 1 and just simply in this merge node just we can so you can see over this positions here. So according to this position, we have to set this cube positions here. Okay. So here just I have already set. So just I am going to take over this cube. So this one just simply just going to play. So same cube just I am using here. So simply just unplug it here. So just unplug from this and delete and just move it here. Just connect with 3D E so you can see this one. Now just select this one, press 1 so you can see this one here and just select this one, press 1. So now if you will double click here, so just simply just you can see this. So this is actually main uh, 3D object. So this is actually main output from our this scanline render here. So you can see this one and this is just moving according to this footage movement. And just simply now place it here and select this one, press 1. So you can see this one here. So now you can see this composting. So usually just we can see all these things. Now after this what we have to do because this is actually undistorted output from our scanline render and this is also undistorted. This one. So both undistorted plate just type composite here. Then after this we have to reapply our distortion on our this final composting. So for this what we can do. So again, just delete this black outside if you want. So now, how we can reapply our distortion? So for this, just we need a actually HTML which just type exported for distortion. So you can see. So with the help of this HTML, just I am going to reapply our distortion on our final composting. So for this, again, just we have to take a HTML. So press tab HTML. Then source, just we have to connect with this merge node and this HTML now just we have to connect with our this HTML so this file so simply just we can connect so now still I am not getting anything so again just we have to double click here then in UV channel just we have to select this RGB so now if you will see actually just I am reapplying distortion on our final composting here but little bit if you will see actually Still, I am getting some stretch pixels, so you can see. So, I am not getting a proper output here after reapplying our distortion. So, for this, what we can do? So, simply just double click on our this scanline render. Then, just we can adjust this over scan value here. So, just simply maybe type 100, still maybe 150. So the type may be 200. So according to a requirement, just simply just you can type this value here. So now just I am getting this all pixels here. So now again just simply just we can go to this 
मार्ज नोट एज लिटल बट जस्ट रिड्यूस दिस मेक्स वैल्यू सो जस्ट इचली जस्ट वी कैन सी एंड जस्ट वी कैन कंपेयर सो नाउ यू कैन सी सो नाउ आई एम गेटिंग अवर दिस एक्चुअली कंपोस्टिंग एंड ऑल्सो जस्ट आई हैव री अप्लाई वन डिस्टर्स ऑन अवर दिस फाइनल कंपोस्टिंग सो दिस इज एक्चुअली फर्स्ट मेथड हाउ वे कैन री अप्लाई वन डिस्टर्स ऑन अवर फाइनल कंपोस्टिंग so second method if you want you can also use so first so simply what we can do for second one so again just copy this control c and control v so till only this scan line and i just i have copied then use this original footage so control c and control v just we can paste it here so this is our main sort and this is our actually undistort output which just i am getting from our this scan line render and this is our actually distorted plate so we have to to reapply distortion on our this composting then we can merge with our this original footage so for this again just we can use this same estimate which so again control c copy and just paste control v paste it here now again press tab and take a estimate so source we have to connect with our this composite output Estimate with this estimate. Now select this one. Press one. And double click and change. Just we have to select this RGB. So now I am getting this distorted output here. Then just we can merge with our this original plate here. So again, just take a merge node. So this will be your background, and now this will be your foreground. Now press one. And just in this merge node, just we can reduce this value. So now you can see. So same output just I am getting. So if you want, you can just also use this second method. How we can reapply our distortion? Now simply just we can play and check. So now we are getting this result here, and this is looking good here. So guys, till here I have completed our this video. Let's distortion workflow with 3D equalizer and new using HTML. And in next part we will continue on same video and same project, and we will see how to export camera track from 3D equalizer to Maya. then how to render from maya then finally how to reapply our distortion in new so guys if you like this video please watch share comment and subscribe my channel if you are still not subscribe my channel so thanks for watching